Hello friends! Welcome to our very first online family story time. I wish you could be here at the library with us in person, but unfortunately we have to stay far apart. But while we stay apart in person, we can still get together online. And I'm excited to share these virtual story times with you. Now, we're gonna be doing things a little different and a little the same. So we'll be doing some songs that you remember and maybe some new songs. And we'll be reading some new stories. And we're gonna be having lots of fun. So I'm excited to get our first family story time started. All right, are you ready? We are gonna sing our first hello song. And we're gonna start it off with the more we get together because even if we can't get together in our meeting room, we can get together online, all right? So here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Have another verse too. It's the more we read together. So we're going to be reading some fun stories. So here we go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Cause your stories are my stories and my stories are your stories. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! We'll be doing that every week, so you'll get used to both verses. It's going to be a lot of fun. And next, we're going to sing our bread and butter song. Some of you might remember that from Preschool Explorers or Toddler Time with Miss Renee. So, get your hands ready. And we're going to start by making a beat like this. You got it? Let's go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello. Good one. That was loud. Don't wake up the baby. Shh. All right. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello. Good. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello. Ooh, were you on your tippy toes for that one? Gotta get up there real high. One more time. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as nice as we can. Hello. Oh, that was very nice. I enjoyed that song immensely. Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Katie. Online, all online. I have some new things. One of them, you might notice, is our mailbox. And that is gonna bring us our letter of the day every story time. We're gonna have a new letter we're gonna learn about. Now, the mailman brought some clues for what our first letter of the day is going to be. So, let's check it out and see what they brought. Hmm. I see some shells. Hmm. Shells make a shh sound like the C. Hmm. What else did the mail carrier bring? A shoe. Stars and a 
the sun. Let's put those over here and decorate our fault board. Mm -hmm. What else? I see. A spider. A sheep. And a squirrel. So, hmm, anything else? Oh. A star, and oh, look at all these shapes. Hmm, I think I have an idea of what the letter is. Do you? So, we have a sun, sun, stars, Squirrel, spider, and a sheep. And shapes. And don't forget our shells. So, what letter makes a sound like a snake? Hmm? You think? You think you know? Let's see. Let's see what letter the mail carrier brought. We have a letter in the mail. Is that the letter you guessed? It is. Yeah, it's the letter S. S is a great letter. So many start, so many words start with the letter S. It's a great letter, and I'm super excited to have our first story time with the letter S. So. What I'm gonna do with our letter S is I'm going to put it on our letter tree. So let's see if we can get it to stick up there on our letter tree. Ooh, it's a wobbly one. There, there's our letter S. Oh, it's a good letter. Now, since we put our first letter of the day on our letter tree, I think we should sing the ABCs. All right, are you ready? Do you know this one? If not, it's okay. We'll sing it every week. And if you do, sing loud, okay? Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Oh, bravo, bravo. That was excellent, excellent singing. You did a great job. Now, that brings us to our first book of our story time. Now, what word is this? Hmm. Shoe. Oh, we got a shoe in the mailbox. Remember that clue? So, do you think that starts with our, it does, it starts with our letter S. S, S. It says one shoe, two shoes. A doggy with a shoe in his mouth. Do your dogs ever eat your shoes? Mine doesn't, but my cat does. Go figure, right? All right, so here we go. One shoe, two shoe. This is our first story. By Carol Hart and illustrated by Edward Underwood. One shoe. It's missing a shoe. Two shoes. One, two. Red shoes. Blue shoes. Old shoes. New shoes. On their way to school shoes. 
Have you started school? Maybe you're doing online learning, just like we're doing online story time with preschool, or maybe you just haven't started school yet, which is completely fine and great, and we'll be learning here together, okay? Long laces tied in knots, green pumps with yellow spots, party shoes, artsy shoes covered in paint, cowboy boots, flip-flops. Two shoes make a pair. What, who's hiding under there? Huh? Are you seeing? Is that a tail? Can you see the teeny little tail sticking up there? What do you think it is? Oh, little Mouse 1 and Little Mouse 2. They've made a house in someone's shoe. A shoe for a house? A house for a mouse? Mouse's house, red and blue. Slippers on the bedroom floor. Here's Little Mouse 3 and Little Mouse 4. There's mice everywhere. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Do you see the little nose sticking out the ear? Wait, peep -peep. those are the ears. That's a tail. <laughs> Ten little white mice. Shall we count them? All in a line. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're counting. Scritchy, scratchy, who goes there? Pitter patter. Sniff, flick. Doggy stretch. Good boy. Fetch. Bounce away. Here he goes. Time to play. Hooray! And there they go. They're zooming on those roller skates. That's shoes with wheels on them. Well, that was a fun book. I really like that one. It's a new book that we have. So come check it out, it's here in the library. Next, let's do a little rhyme game. Now, since there was mice in that book, I thought we might do Hickory Dickory Dock. Do you know that one? Yeah. In Hickory Dickory Dock, there's a mouse that runs up a clock. Silly mouse. And I have a silly little smiling clock. So it's going to help me out here. Let's start. You have to put your minute hand and your hour hand. There we go. All right, here we go. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. <gasps> no. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two. Oh, the mouse ran down. Dong, dong. Hickory dickory dock. Hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck three. Bong, bong, bong. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Good one. You counted all the way up to three. Good work, team. I'm gonna put them right there so they can be in story time with us. Now next, we are going to read a book about mice and shapes. Do you remember? Do you remember our shapes that we pulled out of the mailbox? that our mail carrier delivered. Oh, that was a tongue twister. Mail carrier delivered. There, I got it. We're going to read mouse shapes. I wonder what this is about. It's 
by Ellen Stoll Walsh. Oh, look at all those fun shapes. Here we go. The mice were running from the cat. Hurry, said Violet. <gasps> the cat's gonna get up. Let's hide in here, said Martin. I think they're gonna hide. I think they're gonna go in those shapes. Maybe. After a while, Fred said, I think we lost him. Look, we've been hiding in shapes, said Violet. We can make things with them. Here's a square. A triangle on top makes it a perfect house for a little mouse. Ooh. A triangle and a rectangle make a tree, said Martin. The circle is the sun. But these triangles are different, said Fred. Triangles are tricky, said Violet. But any shape with three sides is a triangle. So even though that and that and that and that all look a little different, they all have one, two, three sides, so they're a triangle. Fred put two circles on a rectangle. It's a wagon for the little mouse in the house, he said. Two diamonds make a book for the little mouse to read, said Violet. Ooh, look at that. Here's one oval, two circles, and eight triangles, said Martin. It's a fish. Oval is like a squished circle. And then there's the two circles. One is smaller and one is bigger. Watch out, that cat likes fish, said Violet. <gasps> hey, let's make the cat, said Fred. Violet put on the eyes and nose. Fred stuck on the ears. And Martin added the teeth. It looks just like the real cat, he said, only better. Look at those mean teeth. <clears throat> just then, the real cat pounced. The mice ran away. And didn't come back until the cat was gone. Phew. That cat's too sneaky, said Violet. If only we were bigger. I have an idea, said Fred. The clever mice got to work. Soon they made three big scary mice. Look at the mice they're making. And surprised the cat. The cat ran away fast. What a scaredy cat, said Violet. Now what can we make for the little mouse in the house? It's time for lunch, said Fred. Let's make him some Swiss cheese. So they did. The end. Well, I like that book. It was about shapes and mice and a cat. Super fun. Now, since we were talking about shapes, let's do our felt board shapes. Put ours that the mail carrier brought to us. We'll take all our S words off and make room. All right. Now, I am going to sing a little rhyme and you are going to tell me what shape I'm holding. All right, are you ready? Here we go. 
Do you know what shape this is? What shape this is? What shape this is? Do you know what shape this is? I'm holding in my hand. All right, what shape is this? It's two short sides and two long sides. Good I? Yes, it's a rectangle. Good job. And what color is my rectangle? Green, that's a green rectangle. Great job. Right there. All right, let's go again. Do you know what shape this is? What shape this is? What shape this is? Do you know what shape this is? I'm holding in my hand. It's round. A circle, that's right. Can you tell me what color the circle is? Yup, it's orange. That red? What do you think? Orange or red? It's light red, orangey red. I say you're right if you say either one, but I think it's more red than orange. All right. It does look orange when I put it on, but then whew, I almost dropped the next shape, which I think is orange. It's a little lighter. We're gonna call that one red. All right, here we go. Remember, we talked about this one in the book for sure. Do you know what shape this is? The shape this is, what shape this is? Do you know what shape this is? I'm holding in my hand. Yes, it's a triangle. Because how many sides does it have? Three sides. All right, one, two, three, triangle, bam. Good work. All right, two more shapes. Ready? Here we go. Do you know what shape this is? What shape this is? What shape this is? Do you know what shape this is? I'm holding in my hand. It's a star. It is. They twinkle bright at night and sing us to sleep. That'd be great. Have you ever had a singing star? I haven't, but it seems like a fun idea. Yes, there is the song, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. You think we should sing that song? Maybe next, after we're done with this? Okay, that's a good idea. But first, I have one more shape. Here we go. Do you know what shape this is? What shape this is? What shape this is? Do you know what shape this is? I'm holding in my hand. It's a square. That's right. It has four sides that are all the same or equal. And that means it's a square. Oh, you guys are just too smart. Too smart for me. I can't trick you at all, can I? All right, so since I had some requests, I think we should sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star to go with our twinkling star on the board. All right, if you don't know it, just follow along the first time and then we'll sing it twice, okay? All right, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, that was so good. All right, for those who don't know it, let's do it again, now that you've heard it. And we can do some finger motions, too. And did you hear them say diamond? We're talking about a star but they called it a diamond. I think it's because diamonds sparkle. They're a rock that if you polish them up, they are very sparkly. So I think that's what they mean. Because we know that a shape of a diamond is like this. And this is the star. What a fun song. Here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are 
up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Oh, good job, everyone. That was fantastic. Now, I have one more book, and then I'm going to tell you how to do a craft. But one more book, and then I'll teach you how to make mice, just like in the book. Pretty fun, huh? All right, well, let's get started on our book. Our last book has our S's, and it's If I Had a Sleepy Sloth. Do you know what a sloth is? This cute little animal and it hangs from the tree and is very slow. They don't move very often. So here we go. It's called If I Had a Sleepy Sloth by Gabby Donne and Alex Barrow. If I had a sleepy sloth, I wouldn't want a tiger. I think I'd like a horse. An elephant is far too loud and much too wild, of course. Kangaroos are bouncy. Sharks are very quick. But I prefer a creature with a different kind of trick. People always rush around. I want to stop and stare. Imagine being so relaxed that moss grew in your hair. Ooh, you should probably wash it if moss grows in your hair. Oh, if I had a sleepy sloth, I'd say, hey, what's the rush? Sit down, relax, my furry friend. I'll give your hair a brush. Sloths are good at gripping. I think they're super skilled. Hanging from the branches, staying seriously still. If I had a sleepy sloth, we'd watch the world go by. From high up in the jungle, where the treetops meet the sky. If I had a sleepy sloth, we'd walk, but not too fast. We wouldn't want to race because my sloth would finish last. Moths are very fond of sloths. They snuggle in their fur. If they ever tickled, do you think my sloth would purr? Do you think sloths purr like kitty cats? I don't know, I've never met a sloth before. Sloths are never sweaty, but if they, they got too hot, the local pool is very cool. We'd hang out there a lot. Look at all the grown-ups. They're all worried that there's a sloth in the pool. Kids aren't worried though, are they? They're having fun with the sloth. I don't think I would be scared of a sloth in the pool. I think it'd be pretty cool. If I had a sleepy sloth, we'd practice hide and seek. But sloths are so well camouflaged, I'd sometimes have to peek. You never peek at hide and seek, do you? No, I didn't think so. Sloth and I would eat our lunch while sitting in our tree. And only once a week, my friend would need to take a... Can you see what's happening there? He went potty on his head. Don't walk underneath the tree that is lost in. In our hidden hideaway, we never want to leave. The air would be so fresh up there, we'd close our eyes and breathe. <sighs> oh, if I had a sleepy sloth, I'd have to take things slow. We'd hang out in a hammock where we'd watch the flowers grow. Sloths are very smiley. 
They're never ever down because they take it easy. Plus their faces cannot frown. I wish I had a sleepy sloth to cuddle me to sleep. Then I would count a million sloths instead of counting sheep. My sloth would sing a lullaby and I would close my eyes to dream of all the galaxies way up beyond our skies. Aw, and then there's the sloth hanging from the moon with their person. Mm, makes me sleepy. Mm, and that, my friend, is our last book. But we have one more song to sing, our goodbye song. But I'll be back again next week and we'll do this all again, okay? Different books, a couple different songs, some will be the same. We'll have a new letter in the mail. So excited, I don't know what it's gonna be. All right, now we're gonna sing our goodbye song. And it's the same as our bread and butter hello song, but we're gonna do it for goodbye instead, okay? All right. Get our clapping going. You ready? Okay. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as quiet as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as loud as we can. Goodbye. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as low as we can. Goodbye. I think that's what a sloth would sound like, don't you? That they are slow. <laughs> All right. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as high as we can. my throat a little bit. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say goodbye as nice as we can. Goodbye, friends. Thank you so much for joining us on our first virtual story time. And we'll see you again next week. But remember, stay tuned. And I'm going to fill you in on how to make a mouse out of shapes. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See you soon. Bye-bye. All right. Here is our super fun craft I promised you. Now remember our book that we read? It is Mouse Shapes. We are going to make mice out of shapes. Super fun. So, I already have my shapes all cut out that I want to use. Now, you can use whatever shapes you want that you think look like a mouse. I chose my favorite color combination and my shapes that I wanted to use. But you can do whatever ones you want. All you need is either colored paper and cut out your shapes from the colored paper, or you could Use white paper and then color your shapes, and then cut them out. So either one will work. You only need paper, glue, and scissors. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put my glue down. There's the body. Now I need a head. All right, so I used an oval for the body. I'm gonna use a triangle for the mouse head, just like they did in the book, because I thought that looked pretty neat. So, there we go. Hmm, what should we do next? Ears. I think my mouse needs two ears. 
So I'm going to put the glue down and I'm using circles for my ears. All right, it's already starting to look like a mouse, I think. Next, I'm going to use circles for the eyes. One circle. Two circles. And then I'm going to use two smaller circles to be the pupils of the eyes. Ooh, now they're looking at you. There we go. Here, hello, little mouse. All right, so I cut out this funky looking triangle. Isn't that crazy? It's flat, but still it only has one, two, three sides. So it's a triangle. And I thought that would be a fun little tail. What do you think? There's a tail. Now remember, you can use whatever shapes you want and you don't even have to make a mouse if you don't want to. You are in charge of your own artwork. So you can make a mouse or remember there was some, they made a cat with sharp triangle teeth and they made a house and a tree and the sun. And you don't even have to make those. You can make whatever you want to make because that's the good, fun thing about art is that you get to use your imagination. Uh oh, look it. <laughs> My fingers are sticking because they're sticky with the glue. Everything's sticking to it. All right, so. I'm gonna Use the hands, uh -huh. a little glue, one, two, three, Ooh, it's not sticking, I need more glue, more glue please, oh, this is getting sticky, there, there's one hand, and glue on that one. And we'll do one, two, three on that one too. All right, I think I'm gonna use just some rectangles for the feet. One foot. Two foot. And there we go. There is my little mouse made of shapes. I have two big green circles for ears. I use two blue circles, medium sized for the outer eye and two dark blue circles for the pupils. I used a triangle that's pink for my head, a purple oval body, and then a bunch of yellow rectangles for the arms, fingers, legs, and feet. And then I used a squished funky triangle for the tail. Now you can make whatever you'd like and don't forget to post it on Facebook and show me what you made. And next time we'll make a new craft. I'm excited to see you. Until then, have a great week. Bye-bye.